Uh, hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Zhou Changzhi. I come from Beijing Institute of Technology, Beijing, China. Next, I will introduce our work, Spam Pair Interaction and Tagging for Dialogue Level Aspect Based Sentiment Quadruple Analysis. Uh, our work, our work focuses on dialogue level ABSC task. Uh, it's a practical task because it can help improve products or services based on uh, customer feedback from social media such as Twitter and uh, Weibo. As shown in the figure, given a multi-turn and uh, multi-party dialogue. The goal of the task is to extract or target aspect, opinion, sentiment quadrups. The target term denotes the evaluated object, such as uh, iPhone 13. The aspect term denotes a specific aspect or attribute, uh, such as uh, screen. The opinion term uh, denotes a word or phrase to evaluate a specific aspect, such as so-so. The sentimental priorities can be divided into three types, uh, positive, negative, and uh, neural. Besides, it's a challenging task uh, because it has complex contextual information, complex corresponding relations between terms, namely the relation between target term and uh, aspect term, the relation between target term and uh, opinion term, the relation between aspect term and uh, opinion term. Besides, it has long sequence. In the past, two types of previous works best uh, performed best. They are talking pair tagging method and the span level enumeration method. The former extracts terms, relations, and the sentiment polarities by taking each token pair in a token level matrix. But they cannot capture complete semantic information of spans due to the lack of span level modeling and interactions. The latter enumerates all spans arranges spans into target, aspect, opinion triplets, and uh, predicts their sentiment polarities. However, they have a uh, high time complexity caused by constructing candidate triplets. For example, there are 100 uh, spans, then there will be 1 million triplets. In order to solve these issues of previous works, we propose a spam pair interaction and uh, tagging method, which includes a spam pair tagging scheme, a simple and efficient multi-level representation model, and uh, an extra span ranker. Concretely, STS explicitly captures complete span level semantic information by taking spam pairs rather than token pairs. MIM explicitly models the dialogue information and the interactions between spans at the token and the span level, respectively. Span ranker makes MIM run more efficiently than previous models. Our method obtains state of the art performance in the DIASQ multilingual dataset. Next, I will introduce spam pair tagging scheme, STS. Uh, we define nine labels to tag the span level matrix. As shown in the table, uh, the labels in, the, in part one denote term types. The labels in part two denote the relation between terms and the sentiment polarities. The known label denotes uh, invalid spans. Concretely, in, as shown in the figure, uh, we enumerate all spans 
such as、uh, iPhone thirteen, no lag, playing games, to construct the span level matrix. For span pairs, in the diagonal region, we use T, A, and O labels to denote the target terms, aspect terms, and、uh, opinion terms. For example, if span pair iPhone thirteen, iPhone thirteen. Is tagged with the T label. Then the span iPhone thirteen is a target term. For span pairs in the strictly upper triangular region, we use T A A O and T O labels to denote the relations between terms. Besides, we attach sentiment polarities, positive, negative, and neural. Into the TO label. For example, if the span pair iPhone thirteen no lag is tagged with TO pause, then the pair is a target opinion pair with positive sentiment. Finally, we decode this matrix to obtain quadruple set. Based on STS, we propose a simple and efficient multi-level representation model (MIM), which in which、uh, include which includes four parts: token encoding, span generating and pruning, span pair generating and classifying, and decoding. At the token encoding stage, we first use pre-trained language models. Such as Rota, to obtain the vector representation of each token,、uh, namely H i. Following previous works, we use multi-head attention mechanism and the mass polling operator to model dialogue structure information, namely speaker information and reply information, to update the vector representation of each token. At the span generating and pruning stage, we first enumerate our spans to construct the span set S, in which each span consists of one or more tokens. We concate the vector representation of start token, the vector representation of end token, and the various embeddings. To denote the vector representation of span i, namely S i. However,、uh, the number of spans is squared with the number of tokens. For example, one hundred tokens can enumerate five thousand and fifty spans. So, we train a span ranker to prune the span set. Specifically, we train a part of speech of where span ranker to score each span in the span set. Then we select the top k spans with highest score、uh, to construct the small and the new span set as top. At the third stage, we concate the vector representation of span i. The vector representation of span J, the hard mode product of span I and span J, and the distance embeddings between span I and span J, to denote the vector representation of span pair, namely P I J. Finally, we use S T S to obtain quadruple set. We verify our method、uh, in the DIAASQ benchmark, which includes Chinese dataset and English dataset. Following previous, we take identification F1 and micro F1 as measurements for evaluating the DIAASQ task. The micro F1 measures the whole quadruple, 
while identification F1 does not distinguish the sentiment polarity. We also test uh, the span match and uh, pair extraction subtasks use exactly F1, where a prediction is only correct if the extracted span or pair matches the ground truth exactly. As shown in the table, our method obtains state-of-the-art performance on the DIASQ task and uh, other subtasks. The ablation results show that each module positively functions in our model. Besides, our model performs better than baselines even without all modules, demonstrating that MIM benefits from STS. The results in the right table demonstrate that our model is more stable than baselines when faced with more complex scenarios. Besides, we study the effect of key value. The key value denotes the number of remaining spans after pruning, uh, determining the size of the span level matrix. When we choose a suitable key value, such as 64, our model obtains state-of-the-art performance with faster efficiency efficiently than baselines. The performance of our model is suboptimal with a small key value, such as 16. The reason is that a small key, a small key value corresponds to a low recall. The performance does not uh, infinitely increase with the increase of k. The reason is that the number of no known labels has an upper bound. Finally, the time complexity of our model is better than span level enumeration method, span ASTE, and close to the token pair tagging method, GTSDIA. That's all. Thanks for your listening.